Hello everybody, this is Roger Hansen. I am back with my daily live stream. Today my topic is going to be about current events. Um, yesterday was gaming I did with uh, Zelda with Rapid Glitch and Matt. And uh, I kind of did a brief uh, history of myself when it comes to history and how I got involved with that and then before that I did some stuff about the stories that I write and stuff like that and uh, storytelling. Now today is going to be some current events. Um, before I get started on that I do want to tell everybody that I am currently on Jitsi if anybody wants to get on there and uh, talk while I'm doing this conversation. All you have to do is go to my live uh, live stream uh, chat, which is 24/7 live TV with Roger Hansen. If you can't find me there, just go into the general uh, chat room and leave a message, and I will see it and guide you onto what you need to go to if you want to talk. But um, with that said, I am going to kind of explain the whole uh, how can I say this I'm I'm going to explain uh, how I'm going to do this uh, current events part it's uh, going to hold up you know what before I do that let me check my audio real quick make sure it's coming out clearly oh current events all right yeah I just wanted to make sure it but uh bef before I uh, start getting on this too I want to kind of discuss my current events thing you know um, I'm cool with politics I, I love politics um, I, I'm really interested in the history of politics you know political history and I think that that politics has produced some of the most beautifulest writing in, in history if people would just take time to read it and everything it's it's got some of the greatest ones but uh with my current events i'm not going to get caught up too much into the politics even though i know that that's kind of a fairy tale in itself i mean there's no way that you can't get caught up with the politics of the times when it comes to current events and what's going on in the world you know so don't get me wrong there but I'm talking about like a, a lot of the crazy stuff you know since I'd say 2016 maybe a little bit before that I've sat and I've watched some pretty amazing things happen when it comes to politics I've seen people who have had a lifetime a lifelong friendships with other people just completely break those off because of who they were voting for as president um, and I mean I'm not talking about people that they've known occasionally from their 20s on I mean lifelong friends that they were they grew up with you know I've seen some pretty wicked stuff happen over that and it got to the point where with me I, you know I, I didn't get caught up in that for a bit but it got to the point with me that I didn't like who I was so in the end I finally said you know what I'm not going to allow this kind of stuff to break up you know my friendships with people that I've known forever and who's, who, who's known me you know if uh, people don't want to respect each other's opinions and views and still be able to hold a friendship with one another then those people aren't worth uh, calling friends um, but for me personally I'm not even going to partake in the, in, in the conversation you know what I mean because it's just insane I've watched people have these conversations and the majority of them are people who don't even vote they just want to get on the internet and you know create an environment of hatred so I've learned that it's just best not to even get involved in that stuff um, I will talk about politics don't get me wrong 
but it's not going to be the biggest topic on my uh, on my agenda when it comes to current events because I have different things that are going on in my life that have absolutely nothing to do with politics um, and I prefer not to say or speak about politics because it's just like I said it's not even a good thing to do so with all that said I'm going to start my conversations off with um, a good uh, topic or with a few good topics actually uh, I don't know if anybody's noticed it but I've mentioned it in uh, Minds Chat about um, Twitter changing their name from Twitter to X formerly known as Twitter <coughs> now I went and I checked all that out and it, it's a pretty good story um be honest with you it's uh uh talks about elon musk and how things took place whenever he bought uh twitter um there's a uh, a lot of interesting things to know you know like in the last 10 years twitter hasn't made any anything for a profit except for two years out of the 10 years and it wasn't very much of a profit so uh and this goes way back before Elon Musk even came in onto the scene. You know, they were um, putting the majority of their um, time and efforts and uh, money. It was going towards advertisement more than anything else. Uh, the Wall Street Journal said that uh, Twitter had 80 to 90% of their income coming from advertisement versus the rest of it which was from subscriptions and stuff like that so that pretty much tells me where Twitter was you know and uh, I wanted to discuss that because um, of my own personal experience with Twitter you know I can honestly say that uh, YouTube has pissed me off I can honestly say that freaking Facebook has pissed me off I can even say that Mines at some point or another has pissed me off. I've gotten on Mines even and just made a complete ass out of myself. You know, getting angry and stuff. I've said some horrible things on the blogs for YouTube when it comes to their CEO because I don't like her way of behaving and her freaking ethics at whatsoever. You know, um, she treats... Uh, small creators like crap and I pretty much told her you know I, I don't agree with the, the way that she uh, exploit or YouTube has allowed themselves to exploit children for as long as they did before it was put an end was put to it and that wasn't YouTube that was people who got together and created a petition and took it to court and forced YouTube to stop doing it for years, they were letting these little 10-year-olds, 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds uh, that weren't even legally allowed to work, you know, to get on there and just play their video games. And YouTube would uh, start putting commercials on their videos and exploiting them for the money, you know. And that's illegal. Any way you look at it, that's illegal. But, you know, um, they pissed me off. Facebook and their censorship is just outrageous, you know. But the one thing that's really weird about Twitter is the fact that it's it's done nothing to me. Twitter is probably the most useful or useless thing that was ever created on the face of this planet. <coughs> There was so much hype about Twitter, you know, and, and honestly, that hype was just false. There was nothing true about it whatsoever. Um, and you can you can see that in the... in what well, was just brought out with, like, the Wall Street Journal, where they, they discussed the majority of everything that took place on... Uh, in, in money or any any kind of economy whatsoever with uh, Twitter was just um, was just uh, 
for the advertisers. You know, the advertisement was the ones that was making the big bucks out of it. There was nothing else there. So, I mean, you know, and I, and I always had that feeling whenever I went on Twitter where, you know, I didn't mean nothing. It didn't matter if I posted a tweet or not because, I mean, the majority of the time, nobody would ever see it. Nobody would ever get it. You know what I mean? So that's uh, something that I wanted to bring up because I really found that interesting about that. And then they started talking about um, the reason why they freaking changed uh, uh, Twitter to X. Apparently it was called X Corp back in the spring. And then it got dropped down to just X, formerly known as Twitter. And that got more attention than the time when it was changed to uh, uh, X Corp. So that kind of... Uh, clicked in my head too you know and uh, it also makes me wonder what's going to happen now with Twitter Blue you know apparently they only was able to get maybe like 40,000 subscribers to that not not too many people signed on to that so um, I never heard anything about what was going to go on there and what happened there or anything of that nature so uh, that was one or one topic that I wanted to bring up and if anybody wants to talk about that you know like I said feel free to come on here get on uh, Jitsi with me and we can have a conversation about it um, another thing I wanted to talk about uh, is streamers who left Twitch and YouTube for kick um, I don't know if anybody's aware of the new platform called kick but it's been such a big hit with all these large, uh, with all these large uh, creators, I guess you can call them, from YouTube and Twitch that they've been just migrating over to Kick and uh, um, content creators like Amareth, Sapnap, and uh, banned streamers like Doctor Respect. Um, uh, they all joined Kick as well. You know, I mean, they they just went right in there. Um, the one thing that uh, I wanted to talk about that for was because because um, you know I decided to go with mines, and the reason why I decided to go with mines is because I basically get paid for the effort that I put in to my own videos, my own content, my own posts and it's not me being paid by somebody now I went in and I checked out kick after I heard about it and uh, the first time I heard about it the second time I heard about it my friend John told me about it but uh, the first time I went in I went and checked it out and I found out that the majority of these people who are migrating over there are like these little girls who sit on Twitter or twitch and they they lick freaking microphones or they sit in freaking bathtubs with little fucking aired up like pool freaking toys and d draw on themselves and shit just so they can get people to freaking watch their videos the majority of the people who went over there from what i've seen is that or you know little girls who freaking wear bikinis and short shorts while they're doing woodwork you know stuff like that but uh basically what it is is these guys involved migrated over there and um instead of you doing like on mines like i'm doing where i put in my time and my effort for the money i'm making um they become uh they become freaking employees of kick well it was like uh my buddy john he uh was talking to me and he he came over to mines finally after me talking to him about about it for about two two and a half years he finally came over but he first uh talked to me about kick and i'd already heard about it and found out what i just told you and uh i went on there and uh i looked at it again you know and that's when i found out about becoming an employee of kick and I just 
you know, sent a message back to him. I was like, well, you know, I mean, why would you want to become an employee of a streaming company? <clears throat> why not just uh, do what I'm doing? And I told him about Mines. I was like, you know, if I turn around and I make uh, content on Mines, then I, uh, that's my stuff still. You know what I mean? It's still my content, and I'm nobody's employee. And the amount of money I make is determined about how much effort I put into it. So uh, that that kind of interested me, but uh, how how they're doing that, and uh, all these streamers are just flocking to them too. You know, don't get me wrong. I mean, when it comes to you know all these weird uh, streamers going and going on to other platforms and stuff they did it with they did the same thing with only fans and all of that stuff you know um they basically it's a it's it's a fad basically you know and tiktok tiktok is another one um well tiktok and then only fans because only fans is more mature than uh <coughs> what tiktok is but uh i thought that that would also be something else that would be worth discussing if anybody was really ever interested in doing that and uh i'm gonna be recording this too and it's gonna be going up on my 24 7 live tv with roger hansen chat room to where you guys can watch it but i just wanted to uh you know bring it up and hopefully if somebody wants to talk about it they're more than welcome to and they can come on here into my jitsi which i'm already in i believe and have a conversation with me it's up to them um just send me a message if you can't get into it the link is up in side of my chat all you have to do is click on it and it should bring you to the chat room so it's completely up to you um, with that being said I will go ahead and move on to my third topic that I wanted to mention today um, my third topic is the merger between Activision Blizzard and Microsoft now if you're not into gaming you're not gonna know anything about that but it really was a big uh, it, it, it really was a big deal even though it was about uh, video games because Activision is uh, the video game that uh, or it, it's the company that freaking has um, it does all of the stuff for you know Call of Duty and uh, Call of Duty, Duty is one of Xbox's biggest sellers I mean biggest sellers and they ended up Activision ended up splitting up from Blizzard as I recall it and uh, all of a sudden Microsoft which is PlayStation I believe no yeah it's PlayStation I believe but uh, <coughs> that Microsoft came in no Microsoft is Xbox and PlayStation is the one that had Call of Duty that's what it is or some stuff like that but anyhow um, Microsoft and uh, Activision were merging together and um, um, they uh, it, it caused a big problem with the courts and stuff it ended up making it to the federal courts and there was actual judges and even uh, Biden who had turned around and uh, said they were against the merger between Act Activision and, and Microsoft you know or the purchase whatever you want to call it <coughs> because they said it was uh, against uh, uh, federal regulations and stuff which I'm, I'm aware of what they're talking about they're talking about um, this bill that came out a long time ago about businesses that were too big to fail but you know when you take a look at the video game industry and you take a look at the social media industries you've got all these corporations that are just way too big to fail 
and nobody's even interested in breaking those up so these days it just seems like that it was just a little bit too much I mean the fact that it's a video game company that's being brought into federal court over who can buy it and who can't buy it is just it, it's completely amazing okay um, I I can't believe that it, it has come to that when it comes to video games but it has really come to that that's how big it's getting um, Biden apparently was against it and so was Europe pretty much the European Union all of them they they were dead set against this merger um, but somehow Microsoft was able to pull it off Microsoft did agree to a license um, for Call of Duty to his rival to their rivals and that was a 10-year contract included with uh, Japan's Nintendo company so that was pretty much taken care of it was a it was a pretty good uh, read on that actually I, I couldn't believe that you know like these federal judges were actually having a fit and then um, they did an appeal against the the decision they wanted to try to appeal it and uh they uh I, th I think it was the federal trade administration fta or something like that um they've never done that for like since the 1980s or 1990s and all of a sudden they're wanting to do an appeal on this one i mean it, it's a pretty big deal it really sinks into a lot of a uh, lot of old politics when it comes to contracts and you know corporations that are too big to fail and I uh, I was reading up on it and I can see why it went to the federal uh, courts and I'm just amazed by it you know I mean like I said the fact that Microsoft was buying an act and I never even thought of Activision was that big of a deal I didn't think it was that big you know I do know that Call of Duty um, on my YouTube channel for my streams like Call of Duty is one of the highest viewed video games that I've got I, it's the only one that comes close to Super Mario 64 um, and that's in just views on YouTube and I don't have that big of a channel on YouTube so but for the size that I have, that is right there. I think it's the second or the third largest views that I've got. I think it's uh, part two of my series. But uh, it's up in the 900s views. And then you've got Super Mario and then King of the Monsters. Those are the three biggest ones. Two of them are retro, which... Um, Call of Duty 4 is pretty close to being retro to be honest with you but it's pretty amazing that that it's that big of a deal and uh, I know uh, Call of Duty is coming out with uh, Black Ops 3 and I think that's what really was the nail in the coffin you know when they were coming out with Black Ops 3 they had this big plan these big plans for it and then all of a sudden, you know, Activision said, hold on a minute, we're going to sign on with Microsoft, and you guys can go screw yourself, and it caused a big stink, so. <coughs> Those are three of the topics that I'm talking about that I want to do, and I can do more of them as I go, but um, these are the kind of current events I'm talking about. I can talk about politics, don't get me wrong. All right, I, I can, but I just don't want no dirt slinging. I don't want to hear about how horrible Donald Trump is or how horrible freaking Joe Biden is and those damn Democrats, you know, stuff like that. The only thing I do talk about is socialism because I am 100% against socialism and uh, I don't mudsling when it comes to it. I just throw the facts out there you know what I mean and I believe my personal belief is that the biggest problem we had in the 20th century and now 
was socialism. It created every single problem. Every world war we've ever had was a direct result of socialism. Um, every war period the United States has ever been in had something to do with socialism. Yeah. Um, it's it's completely amazing that people don't co understand that concept, and yeah. like. Nobody understands or nobody wants to understand that, you know, fascism was socialism. It was born out of socialism. You know, uh, Mussolini understood the concept of socialism. Hitler understood the, social, the concept of socialism, and that's why they were able to get away with what they did. I mean, Hitler joined the Nazis. The Nazis were around before Hitler was uh, in charge of them. I mean, the the name for Nazi is an acronym for the freaking People's uh, Work Party, you know, in German. So, I mean, you, you mention that to people and they, they just flip out. They think, oh, you're just this prejudiced white guy talking shit. No, I'm not, dude. I'm just telling you the facts, you know. Socialists are these fascist, racist people who are skinheads. They love socialism. Socialism is what started everything. You know what I mean? You take socialism, you mani you manipulate it, and you learn how to monopolize. When you create monopolies with socialism, it becomes a fascist state. That's how you do it. Okay, um, that's how fascism is born, and. That's the thing that I've learned by doing my political history. I've learned about the first international, the second international, and the third international. I know what communism and socialism is. Socialism didn't start in China or the Soviet Union. It started in Germany and France. If you do your research, you'll find out about it. You know, um, it's very boring stuff. But if you search through it and you learn, then you'll know the truth. I mean, sometimes you got to do boring stuff to become educated and know things. But that's for another conversation. Um, it is at 27 minutes and 35 seconds. I am probably going to end this now. I, uh wanted to make different topics for different days of the week uh, I'll go through again and I will update you on what those are on Sunday I'm going to be working with audio and video I'm going to be making uh, relatively short videos about half an hour of like a walkthrough on how to edit with blender That'll be the first one. And then later after that, I'll get into other topics too. <coughs> That's going to be at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. That'll be 6 o'clock Eastern uh, Time. And then I think it's like 9 or 10, no, uh, 6. It'll be about 11 o'clock in British Time. 11 or 12, somewhere around there. Then on Monday, I'm going to do storytelling. I'm going to also do, uh, or I'm going to do storytelling on <coughs> Monday. And um, that's going to be mostly about my stories. I'm going to be discussing my stories and how I do plots and stuff like that. Um, on Tuesday, I'm doing my history. And... The one thing I really want to get into is the archaeologists, just as much as the history, the archaeologists who went out and actually did the work. Um, Budge is one that I want to discuss because he is something that came up when we were talking about uh, when when he when we were talking about Egypt and the Amtua, which is the Egyptian Book of the Dead. And uh, that's one thing I want to do. On Wednesday, I'm going to be doing gaming. Um, right now, I'm doing Zelda with Rapid Glitch and Matt. 
on uh, team with Team Retro on uh, Nostalgia Gaming Retro uh, um, on YouTube. I, I go in there and we're doing Zelda. Right now we're doing a randomizer on Mod Loader 64. Then on a, uh, well, that might be like old videos that I do because I'm going to also stream live when we do it, you know what I mean? So it's probably going to be recorded on a different day and then I'll play it again on Wednesdays. Um, that, but that's my gaming day is on Wednesday. And... I'm also wanting to get caught up in topics and stuff too, and interviews about gaming, but that is pretty hard to find, is people who are willing to actually do a, an interview about their video gaming, you know, and being streamers and stuff. Then, like, today is current events, and, uh, after, uh, that, that on, a Thursday, what you, today's Thursday, right? Yeah. So on Friday, on Friday, I'm gonna do my uh, videos on about strange, uh, strangeness. All right, and that's the way I term it is strangeness because I don't want to call it conspiracy theories or or aliens or ghosts or you know all of that. I want to call it strangeness because it encompasses a lot of different topics like. I said before, you know, it could be, you know, the guy whose skin is like freaking rubber, you know what I mean? He could stretch his, his lip over his forehead, you know, stuff like that. Um, I wanted to do stuff like that. And uh, then my conspiracy is going to be on Saturday. And on Sunday, you know, that on Saturday will be conspiracy theories, and I'm going to get into that and discuss that. And all of these are going to be relatively around 5 o'clock, so I, uh, I'm not going to give them just, I'm going to schedule them in for the full hour and stuff. So it doesn't necessarily mean it'll be the full hour, but it will be given the full hour so that's the one thing I do want to mention there as well so with that I am going to end this I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you want to and you watch this video or you watch this stream and you want to make comments go into my 24 7 chat and make a comment you know in it you know what I mean um, do it on my main page if you want to. It's perfectly fine. I have no problem with that. Um, but get involved with the conversation if you want to. Um, I did open up my stream so that if anybody wanted to join, they could. They didn't have to, but I went ahead and did it anyhow. Um, like I said, we've got it set up to where you can come into Jitsi and we can actually have a conversation about it. So... I appreciate you guys showing up, and if you did show up, <laughs> but I am glad that I was able to do this too, so thanks for stopping by, guys.